Wait, they wrestled in CZW? AJ Styles is one of the hottest superstars in the business, and it's been that way for a long time. After being stuck in TNA for 12 years, he finally made it to Japan as a full-time worker in New Japan Pro Wrestling, where he became the two-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Then after 18 years in the business, he was signed to a full-time contract to the WWE, where he's rocking it every single night now. Whether or not you believe it, AJ made his CZW debut at Best of the Best 3 back in 2003, only five years after making his pro wrestling debut. Now, AJ was unable to advance past the first round when he lost a fatal four-way match involving Jay Briscoe, Jimmy Rave, and Jason Cross. And hey, this is the best of the best we're talking about, where nobody slacks off, including AJ. He sent the fans home very happy that night. And no, it wasn't a one and done for AJ either. AJ showed up four months later where he appeared at Deja Vu 2 to take on Jimmy Rave in a singles match where he defended his NWA Heavyweight Championship. And if you don't remember, TNA originally started out as being a part of the National Wrestling Alliance where they used that belt as their world championship. And he won the belt from Jeff Jarrett just a month prior to his match with Jimmy Rave. Of course, the title did not change hands at CZW and AJ Styles defeated Jimmy Rave in a good... It was a good 10 minute match. As the TNA World Champion and later on going to have a long career with TNA, it appeared AJ was a little too big of a dollar sign to bring back in the combat zone. Little did we know though, 11 years later after leaving TNA in 2014, he would return to CZW at the 15th anniversary show in February to challenge the CZW World Heavyweight Champion, Drew Gulak. And their match topped out at about 20 minutes, seeing both guys battle all over the arena. And AJ Styles actually got the win, but it was due to DQ because Kimberly hit him in the back of the head with the championship, getting a DQ finish. So as of this recording, AJ Styles is contracted to the WWE, and it'll probably be a long time before we see him step inside the combat zone again and get another crack at the gold. But, I mean, is AJ really going to step inside CZW again before he retires? I say never say never. Hey, I really hope you guys just enjoyed the video, and I want you to keep in mind that all the footage you just seen was purchased by me via smartmarkvideo.com. Guys, don't be a dick. Don't be a pirate. Pay the guys that work hard to do what we all love. Thanks.